Hey guys, Penguins Recordings here. So today I'll try and help you set up a Sour Bratton server. So as you can see here, I have Sour Bratton installed. I installed it via Ubuntu Software, Ubuntu Software Center. So I have the game installed here. Works fine. I'm gonna quit. Now I want to run the server. So the first thing I need to know is the command. And the command to run Sour Bratton in uh, dedicated server mode is you open up a terminal first. And in the terminal, you type Sour Bratton space dash and D. So this will tell Sour Bratton to run in a dedicated server mode. You hit enter. Bam! it works but for most people you're going to have uh, the problem where it says master server registration failed so first I'll close this ctrlc to stop the server and I'll close the terminal I'm going to open up my web browser and what we're going to do here is we're going to port forward the necessary ports for Sour Bratton to work. Now you need to do this in your router. Everyone, Everyone's router is different, but generally you do the same thing. So you go to 192.168.1.1. For some people it might be .0.1 or .1.0. It can be different. For Please check your router and your specifications for your router. Hit enter. It will ask for my username and password. This is usually provided on your router's box or on your router's device itself. I hit enter to log in. So now I am in my router and I'm going to go to the section for this router to port forwarding. I'm going to go WAN, wireless area network. And I'm going to go to port forwarding. All right, in here you can see I already have a list for Sour Button and its required ports. To fill it in, I can delete the previous one and I'll make a new one again. You can type anything for the service name. Here I put Sour Button because it's easier to know what this port is for. The port range, this is important. Without the port range you won't be able to host the dedicated server. So the port range has to be 28785 until 28786. There you go. That's your port range. Local IP is your computer's IP address. You're not sure what that is? We can click on terminal and inside the terminal you can type if config hit enter and this will display a bunch of information about your networking capabilities. Usually if you are using a cable a, a cable to connect to your router or modem your information will be under Ethernet 0. For wireless there will be uh, w, WL0, I think it was, WA0, something like that. For me, I'm using a dongle, a wireless dongle, so mine is under RA A0. So the information I need is this right here, INET. This is my IP address for my computer in the local network. This is the one that I will put in local IP, all right? Most routers probably do not have the this option here, but my router has an option to select the IP from available connected devices to this router. So my IP is already listed there, 192.168.1.161. I click on it, confirm, yes it is indeed, I can close the terminal. Local port, you don't need to fill anything in for that. Leave it be. What's the protocol? The protocol is UDP. Click on that and you're done. You click 
plus or add or whatever it is on your router and you hit apply let it let it do its thing it can take a while mine takes about a couple seconds I think and it's done I can close this window now I have port forwarded sour button with the IP a uh, with the port range of 28785 to 28786 all right that is how you fix the master server registration failed error here when I run sour button in dedicated server mode it connects successfully all right CTRL C or control C to exit if I choose to remove that port forward that I did just now you'll see that I'll start getting the master server registration failed take note I have not done anything I haven't done any server configurations or whatsoever I have only port forward this our button so I delete this and I apply the changes to my router I've removed the port forward now we should see that error where master server registration fails so I'm gonna click the up arrow I'm gonna hit enter now it's trying to connect to the master server usually you know it doesn't work when it takes a long time to connect unless of course you know you have a slow internet connection I'm personally running on 20 megabits per second so it should be okay master server registration failed why did it fail? Because the port forwarding was not done. It is absolutely necessary that you port forward the specified ports for Sour Button to work. So CTRLC to stop the server and then closing the terminal. I'm going to re-add the port forward once again to 8785 to, to Local IPs usual, running in UDP, adding it, applying it. Now, when you're doing a server for Sour Button, there are several things that you can configure. But when you install it through the Ubuntu Software Center, you will find that it is practically you cannot find the server configuration file anywhere. So first, we must find out where Sour Button has been installed in Ubuntu when you install it via the Ubuntu Software Center. Open up your home file browser. You're in home. Go to the top left. We are going to view show hidden files. All right. Now that we've shown hidden files, we can see all the software that has been installed. We are looking for dot sour button. Here it is. Double click on it. This is where we want to be. This is where the server file can be edited. Now, here it shows server init.cfg. I have previously made this file. Previously, it did not exist. So I'm going to double click it to edit it. When you create the file in here, you right click and you create new document, empty document. For the sake of teaching this tutorial, I'm going to copy this out here. Oh, I'm going to delete what's in here. All right. So we have server init.cfg. I'm going to create a new document, empty document. I'm going to name it server init.cfg. Hit enter. Now you have your configuration file for Sour Button when you when you host a dedicated server. Double click it to edit it. In here you can see it's empty. Now I have not memorized the commands for this, so I'll open up my previous configuration file and I'm going to copy it. Don't worry, I'm going to show you one by one what needs to be done. Here. I'm going to control S to save. Alright. I've saved it. I can close the previous one. In here, when you start, you're going to need this server port two eight seven eight five to be uncommented anything with these two forward that uh, forward 
dashes, I guess you call them. What are these? Forward, forward strokes. Anything with these two are comments, meaning they don't mean anything to the system. They will not affect your system. They are simply there for you to read. Anything that doesn't have them, though, like server port 28785, is a command that will be read by the server. So here, server port is 28785. This is necessary so that the port forward will work. Next, we have max clients. How many people can connect to you? Personally, I set it to 16, but I think the default value is 6, or was it 8? It can be anywhere from 1 to 20. 20 being the max, if I am not wrong, 20 is the max. It's usually safe to play around uh, 12 or 16, depending on your internet speed. Server bot limit. Its default value is 8. You don't really need to change this unless you know how to add bots and you want to add more than 8 bots to your server. Here we have public server. We have three different options that you can put here. 0, 1, and 2. Basically, public server has three options that you can change to 0, 1, and 2. You can read further regarding these numbers on the Sour Button documentation. Under here, we have server description. This is where you put the name of the server that will appear in the server browser. Let's see if it works. I've put it as Malaysia Server, SEA, Southeast Asia, AMD. I'm going to run the server. Server is now running and I want to connect to it. So I'm going to start up Sour Button. Alright. I'm going to go to Multiplayer, Server Browser. And you can see on the second page here with 16 ping. It says Malaysian Server SEA AMD. This is how the world sees your server. The server description has worked. Let me click on it so I can join the map. And you can see my server is indeed working. If I'm to close the game now and exit, you will see in the server that I have previously connected to it. It shows my personal uh, local IP, but when people from outside connect you will see their IPs instead. Going on we have server password. This is usually set to nothing, null. That's why you have just these two. The server password is generally for people who want to play only with their friends but their friends are located outside, far away in other states or houses down the block. You want them to connect to your server and you don't want other people to connect to it. So you give your friends the password so only they can connect to the password. If you want anyone to join, you set no password like I have. I've set no password. So we move on to the next, which is admin password. I've set here password123. I'll probably change it later after this video. This allows me to gain administration power when I'm in the server. Update master1. This is important. This is an important command to change if you want to set your server either to a local area network server, a LAN server, or a public server. When you set it to 1, you're setting the server to public. Anyone outside can see it, but when you set it to 0, it will not try and connect to the master server, which is sourbratton.org. It will not try to do that. It will behave as if it's only on the local area network and only you and anyone else on that local area network can connect to it. Lastly we have um, server MOTD which stands for message of the day and you can pretty much put anything in between the two quote quotation marks. I put something silly there. I'm going to remove this ad bot, just me messing around previously. So now you know how to configure the server init file. You know how to set up your server via terminal. And you know that you must port forward. Summary. After you've installed Sour Button from the Ubuntu Software Center, 
To host a dedicated server, you must first port forward your ports through your router. The ports necessary are 28785 to 28786. After you have port forwarded it, it is optional, but you can configure your server in it file. Naturally, if you install it through Ubuntu Software Center, it will not be in the Sour Button folder. You will have to create it. You will right click, create new document, empty document, and you will name it Server Init config, uh, CFG, which stands for configure. In here are the general um, commands. If you can't find these commands or you're not sure where to look for them, I will post these commands down below or I'll probably put a link to download a text file of this server in it configure file. And to run the server, the last part that you need to get going is to type the command sourbraten space slash d and then you hit enter to get it going. To stop a server when it's running, you hit control c and it stops and you can then close the terminal. That is all you need to do to set up a, a public or a local area network server for Sour Breton. Hopefully this helps someone. If you have questions, leave your questions down below and I will try to help you. Thanks for watching. This is Penguin's Recordings.